Okay, this is going to be just a quick review on some new gloves I bought. Um, these are the Shimmer uh, RS1 Gauntlet GP style gloves. So these are the gloves I bought for mainly just for using on tracks uh, for track days. So these gloves here, uh, they cost me around 150 Australian dollars. Obviously they're leather. Um, They've got wear pads on, pads on the inside here if you're rubbing down the track, which you don't want to be doing. They've got the like hard rubber ones on the fingers, the end fingers sewn together. It's got a carbon fiber hard shell on your knuckles. Um, and these are, you know, quite a thick, heavy duty leather. They're um, all leather. Um, even the, the gauntlet part is all leather. Um, they're a really good good feeling glove, very comfortable glove. So these were 150 Australian dollars. Now, I was comparing these. I bought these cheap Chinese copies. These are a copy of the Alpine Star GP glove, a uh, GP Pro. Um, and I've done a review on these. These are only 30 Australian dollars. So these are 30, these are 150. But the thing is, these gloves were, I only bought them not to actually ride with them, I actually bought them just to do a review on them and have a look at them. And these are actually a surprisingly well made and quite a good glove for $30. But the difference between these uh, copy gloves and these ones is very noticeable once you actually get the two together. When I first tried these, I thought, wow, this is all leather. Um, they've got the wear, the hard knuckle, they've got the inserts on the fingers, and they seem like quite a good glove. When you actually compare them to a more quality glove, you start to notice the difference. These hard plastic things are basically, you know, what toys are made out of. They're just being sewn in there to look the part. And same as the knuckle part, it's Look, it's going to do something, but it's nowhere near as good as the carbon fibre shell on here. And these uh, semi-hard rubber inserts here obviously are a lot better quality than the bits of plastic they sew in here. If you weigh the gloves, they both actually weigh the same amount. They weigh in at 176 grams for one single glove. But... This has got a big plastic piece here, um, which this is all just leather, so weight doesn't really tell you much. It's actually when you put them on. And when you put them on, this leather here is not as thick as the leather on these ones. These ones here, the leather, um, it's just, it's thicker. When you move your hands, you can feel they're, they're a lot more rigid, and these are, feel like a lot more safer glove. And these are leather all the way up. Even the gauntlet is all leather as well. Um, these ones, they're comfortable and they're a nice glove for $30, but this top part of the gauntlet is uh, is just vinyl. That's not leather at all. Only the hand part is leather. So, for track days, I've seen another review with these gloves, and that's actually watching the other reviews, one of the reasons I bought these ones. The guy came off at 150 kilometers an hour he actually wore these wear plates all the way down, wore through just two of the fingers, but he had no damage to his hands. So that's 150 Ks. I wouldn't want to come off at 150 Ks, well, with any glove, but especially not these. These gloves are probably okay for an everyday riding glove, just, you know, on the road, going to the shops, you know, going to work. They're probably okay for that, and for the price, you can't go wrong. But I would not track day these gloves. I don't think they're good enough. They just look nice, but they're not good enough for something like that. These gloves here are more like um, this type of glove. This is just my everyday riding glove. Um, well, you know, when I go to the shop and just go for rides in the mountain and that. These are not a gauntlet style, but these feel about the same as these ones. The thickness of the leather. Um, this shell here feels better than the Alpine Star ones, but I think these gloves here, I wouldn't use them on a track. Um, these ones here are actually made by Nerf. I'm not sure whether they're available over in the world, 
they're very big in um, uh, China and um, I think they're a UK company so these gloves here I think these were around the 80 Australian dollars so even these were almost three times the price of these ones um, and the last gloves I use this is my winter glove these are very very old gloves these are like 30 years old um, these are made of by um, Dents of England um, but these are just a line glove for cold weather so that's the my cold weather glove my everyday riding glove and these are my track day gloves these ones here I, I've actually never worn them on a bike I just bought them to look at but after buying the the Shimmer RS ones um, these are a lot better quality they're a lot more comfortable they just feel better on your hand than the, the fake Alpine Star GP Pros so if you've only got $30 to spend you know I would say look these gloves are okay but if you're actually going to track race um, and you are better off buying a good quality glove by a reputable brand the reason I didn't buy Alpine Star, Star GP Pros um, proper ones is because I think Alpine Star is overpriced I think they make a good glove but I think you're paying a lot for the name um, and I think with some other companies you're paying just for what you get you're paying for a good glove the Alpine Star GP Pros are double the price of these ones and I don't really think they're double the value so for me for track racing the Shimmer RS ones I think they're a really good option they're um, at a really good price and they're a very good quality glove Okay, that's it.